Now, just a few months ago, President Barack Obama announced that we would renew diplomatic ties with Cuba for the first time in more than 50 years. News that sparked some controversy here in the U.S., but also signaled dollar signs, major money opportunity to cash in for some Wall Street investors and, and businesses too, right, Charlie? Yeah, let's unpack this a little bit. So they do. we reestablish relations with, with Cuba, diplomatic relations. We do not lift the embargo, except President Obama has a carve out and you can do telecommunications deal, deals in Cuba. And Michael Kramer, the guy from uh, Perella Weinberg, came up and now is, is working on a deal where they will broadcast Cuban TV. Not that there's a huge appetite for it here, but they will broadcast Cuban TV to the United States in April. That's the deal here. It's very interesting. I don't know what Cuban TV is like, by the way, do you? It's probably a, a, a bastardization <laughs> of telenovelas. Right, or uh, yeah, telenovelas, things of that nature, sports. But that is the idea to take that TV, bring it to the U.S., try to get U.S. people interested in the Cuban culture, try to get U.S. investors and businessmen interested to go down there on vacation and to do deals. That's what this is all about. It's a very fascinating deal. It's Michael Kramer, Perel Weinberg. the baseball contracts they could get to. Oh, yeah, it's, it's going to be amazing. It's a huge sport. Um, Cuba is an interesting place because it's not just baseball. It's boxing. It's, it's, it's uh, soccer. It's a lot of different things. And, you know, listen, it's kind of an obscure market. I, I should point out, you should uh, go to foxbusiness.com. Com. The entire write-up is there. We get into it. We talk to the business council who said this is a huge deal. And I think this is what's going to happen. They're going to do this deal, and you'll see follow-on deals. Look at these markets, Charlie. We've lost the entire lead that we had. In fact, today going in, what do we, got? we had had a very nice move yesterday, as you know from the markets, where yesterday we had the best day in three weeks for the Dow Jones Industrials and the S&P. But now we see not only resistance, but uh, a retreat here. We had been up more than 116 points. But as soon as that news broke, just after 2 p.m. Well, Eastern, you know, we, were, talk we, game, we were talking about this yesterday. When you have terrorism is an economic story. Markets will trade off. Businesses will react. And that's what we have to worry about. They, by, by creating so much fear, do people not go out for dinner? Do companies hoard cash, which I talked about yesterday, which at times did kind of a feeble follow-up today? We've seen lots of cancellation what on airlines. What happens to the business? And, and, and can this push the U.S. economy into a recession? Now, we should point out there are a lot of positive things for, for this economy. This Cuban deal is a positive thing. Now, it's a microcosm. It's a small thing. But this is the first public-private partnership. There's potentially money down there, tourism down there, business opportunities. Kramer thinks he's going to he's going to have other deals that go down there that, that go down there. This is going to be a big thing in the future. But terrorism takes stuff that you see, the positive stuff like Cuba, and turns it around. Right. You do a 180. But that's why we're here as a business network. Yeah. It's our job to tell both sides of the story. You break this story. I think it's fascinating. Right. Let it, me tell you something. Up. You have tourism companies. You have hoteliers. You have all kinds of people looking at this as a huge dollar sign in Cuba. Yeah, I, and you know, like I said, it's a work in progress. The carve out was with telecommunications. So you got to get Congress to reverse some of the other sanctions. But the Business Council, I talked to them. They said this has never done before. This is unprecedented, according to the Business Council. Thank unprecedented. You. Charlie, thank you for breaking it right okay, here. You got it. And, and we'll see if we can get Fox Business or some form yeah. of it on, on Cuban TV.